In this video, I'm going to show you how the different flight modes on the Wakira QRX350 works. Very simple. First off, when you plug the battery, you want to wait for the GPS to get full GPS lock. You want to take off and arm the copter with the mix switch all the way up, which is going to be manual mode. You arm it, and then you slowly take off. You fly around to where you want to hold location. You put the mix switch into the middle position, which is GPS and altitude hold. And now your quadcopter is going to hold GPS position. When you're ready to fly around again, take it off with GPS and put it back into manual. And now you can continue to manually fly where you want to fly. When you get to a spot that you want to hold position altitude, flip the switch. Then it's going to hold position and altitude. So if you fly too far, you lose orientation and you can't really see or you don't know where your quadcopter is at, simply switch down, it's going to trigger return to home, and now your QRX350 is going to return to the location where it took off, and it's going to land itself if you want it to land. But if you want to fly again, put it back in the manual, and you can continue to normally fly your quadcopter. With the new 1.2 firmware update, you now have IOC. I have mine set for flight mode. You can see I have my this position to the back of the transmitter off. The middle is off, but when I flip it all the way towards me, it turns on IOC. All this does is very simple. The heading of your aircraft when it first took uh, take off, the compass will know that that's north, south is towards you, and then west and then east. So when you fly an IOC, when you go forward, the craft will go forward. It doesn't matter which way the craft is facing, you can even have it facing somewhere towards you. You go forward, it will know that this is forward, that's magnetic north. Same thing, you go this way, magnetic north is north. One tip, be careful, just when you're flying it, do not turn your body because the compass only records the actual heading of the aircraft, not the pilot itself. So if you turn your body, north is not this way. North is still magnetic north. So just keep in mind when you're using ILC. So there you go. That was a quick uh, video showing how the features of the Wakira QRX350 works. Hope you guys enjoyed it.